Grades 11, 12, and UCSB Fanatics. Welcome to another episode of UCSB by Doncha. A diverse approach to understanding culture, society, and politics. I'm Teacher Don, and together we will expound our awareness of distinct Filipino cultures. During our last episode, we toured museums, visited historical landmarks, and tourist destinations here in the Gupan City and the capital of Pangasinan, Lingayen. We learned fascinating facts about the history of the Philippines and some vitamin kilig from our national hero. We also talked about the three concept maps of culture, society, and politics, and how these three words can affect our lifestyles, perceptions, and identities as Filipinos. That's why in today's episode, we will go to the radio booth. And what are we gonna do there? We will react to some videos. Who's excited to do some reaction vlog? Just kidding. Reaction videos about the aspects of culture and society. Don't you worry. I assure you, it's gonna be lit. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to WWR 88.1, Mabuhay Radio of the Gupan City National High School, Senior High School. And this is where we will react to some videos as we talk about the characteristics of culture. The first video that we will be reacting is from the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. This video is entitled, Buhay na Buhay. Kultura ng Pagdidiwata. It's the very first episode of the eight-part documentary series based on the studies of Professor Felipe M. De Leon Jr., the former president of NCCA and hosted by Senator Lauren Ligarda. Kung mga survival ko sa tinuturo namin ng panahong Panamerikano, yun po yung para sa kung paano mamuhay dito sa gubat ng walang-wala. So kahit po marami ng teknolohiya ngayon, so yung aming kultura hindi nawawala. Ang kaalaman mula sa kagubatan ay produkto ng libu-libong taon ng pakikipag-ugnayan ng mga aita sa mga puno, sa mga ibon at hayop, sa mga tanim, sa klima at sa takbo ng panahon. Did you like the video? Pretty sure you did. Let's give it a like emoji. Have you also visited Subic and witnessed how the Ayras demonstrated some of their survival techniques? This made me remember my visit in Subic when I was but a little girl. We've seen in the video the willingness of the Ayras to share their tribal practices and survival techniques. This is a manifestation of one of the characteristics of culture. It is shared. Culture is shared. Isn't it great to see the eagerness and willingness of our fellow Filipino as they proudly showcase their skills and talents, how they give importance to their customs, traditions, and beliefs, and preserve them in the midst of differences and modernization. Ang mga itnig o tinggyan ng abra ay kilala sa kanilang mga makukulay at masinsin na habi. Ngunit para sa mga dalubhasa, mahalaga rin ang kanilang mga ritual. Ritual na umuugnay sa kanilang mundo, sa mundo ng mga anito at tiwata. Isa sa pinakamahalagang ritual nila ay ang pag-alay sa mga pinaing. Ang ibig pong sabihin ng pinaing, yun po ang batong may buhay. Yan po ay pinaniniwalaan ng itneg o tinggyan na uh, tinatawag. Pwede silang sumapi sa mga napiling tao rin, nakatulad ng baglan. Ang mga pinaing ay nilalagay sa mga sagradong espasyo sa bukana o sa gitna ng kanilang mga komunidad. 
ang ritual ay sinasagawa ng mga pinakadalubhasang baglan kasama ang mga lalaki ng komunidad. Ngunit matapos ang pag-alay, ang buong komunidad ay binabasbasan ng dugo sa paa. Pinagsasaluhan ng lahat ang inalay sa pinain. Nagkakaisa sila sa piging at sa sayawan. Dito nagahalo ang lahat, ang musika, ang sayaw, ang pagsalo-salo, ang pag-awit. It's a wow! The ethnic group from Abra, as we've observed, presents the social characteristic of culture. Culture is social because it is the product of behavior and society. It is cultivated through social interaction and participation. Para sa mga ifugao, ang kayamanan ng lupa at ng ani ay isang biyayang dapat ingatan. Sa tradisyonal na kultura nila, ang maitanghal na isang kadangyan o may kaya sa lipunan ang isa sa pinakamataas na ambisyon. Ngunit, kasama ditong obligasyon na maging mapagbigay sa mga digaanong pinalad sa lipunan. Ang bawat bahagi ng pag-angat sa kanilang lipunan ay ipinagdiriwang sa pamamagitan ng kanyaw o papiging kung saan ang buong komunidad ay makikisalo sa yamang nakamtan ng isang pamilya. Ang hagabi ay isang malaking upuan na yari sa buong troso. Ito ang pinakamaggarbong sagisag ng kayamanan sa mga ifugao. Mula sa pagpili ng tamang puno ng mga mumbaki, pati na ang pag-ukit nito, kailangan pakainin ng lahat ng kasama sa trabaho. At kapag dinala na ito mula sa gubat para ilagay sa kanilang bahay, isang malaking piging muli ang dapat ihandong sa komunidad. Bilang pag-alala sa kanilang mga ninuno, pinagkaisahan ng pamilya dulnuan ang pagpapagawa ng kanilang hagabi. Pinangunahan ng mag-amang Ambrosio Sr. at ng kanyang panganay na lalaki Ambrosio Jr. ang pagsasagawa ng hagabi at ng ritual nito. Kung uh, nag-perform sila ng uyaoy, uh, ito lang ang hagabi na hindi nila na natupad, nagawa, because unfortunately patay sila. Kaya ngayon, inisip namin na uh, as its children, ituloy namin itong hagabi. It's another wow for our third video. It's one of the distinct tribal groups in the Cordilleran region. They showcase that culture is gratifying and idealistic. As seen in the video, we can say that they are truly upholding their beliefs and practices. Another observable characteristic presented here is that culture is continuous and cumulative. This particular family or tribe is experiencing various societal changes and modernization, and yet they are still able to adapt to their society while preserving their tradition. Si Merlin Bilog at Inteng Bilog ay nagmula sa angkan ng isang gawad manilikha ng bayan o Gamaba Awardee, ang pumanaw na si Ginaw Bilog. Ang karangalan na ginawad ng ating Republika bilang pagkilala sa patuloy na pagsasaliksik, paggamit at pagturo ng surat mangyan ni Ginaw Bilog. Yung sasabing mangyan script ay naiuna sa school na. Ang tawag doon ay mangyan script. Sa amin ay hindi pa tinuturo sa school, sulat mangyan talaga. Ang aming sulat ay mula sa aming kanununuan. Wala kaming papel pero hindi namin na nakakaligtaan kasi yung uh, mula sa aming kanunuan, punta sa amin. Doon sinusulat sa ganitong kawayan. Ang patinig ay tatlo lang. Ang katinig ang bilang ay disutso. Mahalaga daw po ito sa amin dahil ito daw ay para sa ating mga nanunuuna. Kailangan hindi pwedeng pag-iwanan hanggang sa mga bagong numerasyon. Kailangan ituturo ito. Kasi yung nabanggit sa akin na Noon ang sabi niya ay bago siya mawala. Huwag na huwag kalimutang ituro sa mga bata 
ang sulat mong yun. Dahil ito ay ang ating tunay na kultura. Oh, let's give this part of the video this sign. What we've seen in the video is an example characteristic of culture, which is transmission. Or, culture is transmitted among our members of society. Cultural ways are handed down from elders, parents, teachers, and others. They are made possible by language because it is the main vehicle of culture. It can also be transmitted through imitation and instruction. And it is also seen here how they learn their language, which is one of the characteristics of culture. It is learned. All these videos are the different ways of how our fellow Filipino brothers and sisters perform their traditions, practices, and rituals, which mean that culture varies from society to society. By the way, don't you know and observe that culture is complex and it is very much related to society? I bet you are intrigued with this relationship between culture and society. Edward B. Taylor defined culture as that complex whole, which includes knowledge, art, belief, law, morals, custom, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by man as a member of society. Wait a minute, was that a little complex for you? I have here a picture for you to understand and visualize it. It can be seen in the picture that culture is a product of society and that society is composed of small groups. And yet, these two, culture and society, exist independently on each other. Culture, just like every person in society, is susceptible to change or death. Society is not constant. Its member changes from time to time. As a result, Culture changes along, new trends in the environment exist, and modern technologies are invented, and advancement of interactions have need created. People evolve over time. As a result of their exposure to renewed or changed laws, values, and standards of society. That is why culture and society are two closely related concepts. For culture to exist and to be developed, it needs human interaction. A society without culture is like a body without soul. Culture and society need each other so they can both develop and prosper. This time, we will be reacting to the different unique Filipino culture expressed in a song. This song is entitled, Filipino Ako, Filipino Tayo written by lyricist Nelson Cruz and composed and arranged by Roy Del Valle. It is the song of Sagisa Cultura 2 project by Advertising Foundation of the Philippines and sang by various Filipino artists. Pang lahing matalino Nalakbay ko ng mundo Walang unos o bagyo Sa aki gugupo Lahi ng matatag Ako ay Filipino Ako ay Filipino Ako ay Diyos Ako ay Filipino Ako ay mga tao Saan man makarating Sino mang makapiling Aangat ang galing Habang buhay Filipino Pagdiriwang ang aming kasiyahan Ipinagbubunyi ang kalayaan Binutuwi ang katapangan Kapanganakan, pangisan, bitin Pagbalik pa yan Tagisan, ipagdiwang natin ang pagiging Pilipino. Hmm. 
Isn't it a lovely song with such wonderful words, melody, and tune? Listening to this song makes me very proud that I am a Filipino. It clearly describes Filipino qualities, characteristics, beliefs, and values. So let us give this video another care emoji. We Filipinos are blessed by distinct attributes worthy of recognition and commendation. Hashtag only in the Philippines. In the song, we've come to hear some of the aspects of culture as a complex whole, which are beliefs and values. Beliefs, these are the concepts that people accept as true about how the world operates and where individuals fit in it. In connection to that, let's replay this part of the song. Ito may dala ng pagkakataon o sadyang pinuot naging okasyon Pagdiriwang ang aming kasiyahan Ipinagbubunyi ang kalayaan Pinupuri ang katapangan Kapanganakan, pangisan dito Pagbalik pa yan o talino ng tatagisan Pagdiriwang natin ng paghihigit this video deserves this reaction. The next aspect of culture as a complex whole is values. These are the general and shared perceptions of what is good, right, appropriate, worthwhile, and what concerns the state of existence, like freedom of choice or equal opportunity. Don't you know that there are elements that constitute the Filipino value system? The first one is Halaga, which means one's value or worth. It is the evaluative aspect of the Filipino value system that Filipinos find to be the most virtuous. And this aspect has three dimensions. They are pagkatao or self-worth, pakikipagkapwa-tao or dignified relationship with others, and pagkamakatao or compassion. Let's listen to this part. The chorus part of the song really says it all about the dimensions and the aspect of values. It calls for an eye care reaction. The second element is asal. Asal or manner is the expression of the evaluative aspect of the Filipino value system. It is constituted of three standards, kapwa or relational, damdamin or emotional, dangal or honor. This time, we will check the music video again. Kami ang lahing kayo mangikula sa buhaw na langit at dagat. Mula sa pulang alin mo'y tugo, kinalo sa dilaw na araw at bituin. Kaya ng kulay ng katatagan, ngayang kulay ng kagitingan, buong tapang na sumisigaw, yan ang Pilipino. The lyrics of the song signify the three standards of asal or manner as a result of high value system. Filipinos are dignified, brave, and resilient. The last element is diwa. Diwa refers to the kalooban or inner value, which in essence is intertwined reason and emotion. Now take a look at this. Mga isla, magkakahibalay ngunit at kakaisa. Tahanan ng aming lahi, mga pook na aming it's a heart for me. Why? Because this video shows the kalooban or inner value that we Filipinos possess as we take pride to our nationality and country. Isn't it really inspiring and you still can't get over it? Just visit the channel on YouTube, the NCCA Philippines. 
With this, the video deserves love and care emojis. In connection to that song, let me ask you this question. What do you think the Philippine culture will be 50 years from now? Well, I guess it's you who can answer that. Why don't you share your responses in your sock meds or social media accounts? Just don't forget to use the hashtag Doncha. I would really want to do more reaction videos with you, but our time does not permit it. Why don't we do it again next time? Thank you, senior high school learners and UCSP fanatics. Stay tuned in our next episode for more UCSP lessons. I'm Teacher Don, reminding you to take pride in your culture and our Filipino values. Till next time, see you all in another diverse approach to understanding culture, society, and politics, or UCSP lessons. Have a great day, everyone!